It's the 24th of September, 2019. Everyone in Britain is talking about a particular Supreme Court ruling. Meanwhile, in Spain today, there was an equally interesting Supreme Court ruling regarding Franco and the place where he's buried, a place called El Valle de los Caídos. El Valle de los Caídos is a mausoleum that Franco had built over about 20 years using Republican prisoners as slave labor, effectively. And it was his burial place when he died in 1975. It's an enormous cave, effectively, uh, in the mountains north of Madrid, in the Sierra de Guadarrama, um, not very far from where Philip II um, had the mausoleum built for his father, Charles I, or Carlos V, um, and himself and the Spanish royal family ever, ever since, a place called El Escorial. Now, for a few years, I used to take a trip, a sort of a guided tour around Spanish Civil War sites, and we always used to take people to El Valle de los Caídos because it's a key place, I think, to understand the Spanish Civil War, what happened after the Spanish Civil War, the Franco years, etc. It's this huge, as I say, like a cave. It was a sort of a tunnel almost, it's a basilica that was tunneled out of a mountainside in the Sierra Guadarrama uh, mountains. And it has this enormous um, cross on the top. It's a 150 meters high. Um, it's a big complex. When you drive up there and you see it for the first time, it really is quite extraordinary. It's just the scale of the place. It has this enormous sort of parade ground outside where huge rallies used to take place during the Franco years. Um, it, quite reminiscent of the uh, type of architecture that you, that you see in Nazi Germany, that Speer, for example, uh, developed during Nazi Germany, except that it has Catholic symbolism. Um, it's austere, it's big, um, it's imposing, uh, uh, quite depressing. Um, when you walk into the uh, El Valle de los Caídos, when you walk into this basilica, um, it's quite dank and dark and gloomy, very, very gloomy place. Um, and it's where Franco is buried, along with about 30,000 people who died during the Spanish Civil War, some of whom are actually Republicans as well as Franco's supporters. Now, obviously, when Spain became a democracy, the question arose as to what they should do, what the country should do with Franco's tomb. And the answer, effectively, was just to leave it be, just not go there, because they had too many other issues to, to deal with. And also, nobody wanted to sort of rake over the past at that time. But increasingly, over the years, more and more people have been saying, no, look, actually, something needs to be done. We, you know, we can't allow this place to just remain. It's, uh, you know, politically, it's quite embarrassing for a lot of Spaniards. And when I used to take people there on these visits, there was a sense that it, it was out of place. It was a strange place. And often we used to ask the question, you know, well, should it still exist? You know, what should the Spanish state do with the mausoleum? Now, last year, in 2018, the Spanish socialist government of Pedro Sanchez decided they were going to dig up Franco, his remains, and have him buried somewhere else um, in a private space rather than the public space that is El Valle de los Caídos. Um, that decision was challenged by Franco's uh, family and today the Spanish Supreme Court decided that and ruled that the Spanish government had the right to actually remove Franco's remains and have him buried elsewhere. Now whenever I used to go up to El Valle de los Caídos, as I say, we used to ask people these questions and my own feelings about it were very much that, yeah, you know, they should perhaps do something about this. It felt like it was a hangover from the past that didn't really belong. But now that the decision has been made, I kind of wonder if this is really the right way of going about things. Spain is at a real crossroads at the moment and the last thing you feel that needs to happen is for sleeping dragons lying in caves to be awakened. Um, and I think this is what this move has actually done. The far right is on the rise very much in Spain at the moment. The political scene is very much split. There's a sense of uh, growing extremism. And then we have the whole Catalan situation. It's as though the Spanish Civil War and the dictatorship never took place. It's as though we've gone way back to the 1930s and with Franco, Franco's remains possibly being dug up very soon now, 
you wonder if we've gone full circle. What should Spain do? When does history become history? When does it stop being part of the present? I think that's a key question here. And there's no clear answer. There's no obvious answer to it. I just hope things aren't going to go today as, as the way things did back in the 1930s for Spain.